Discover the unparalleled beauty of Kanab, Utah, the heart of the parks, and the ultimate base camp for your national park adventures. Kanab, Utah offers easy access to not one, not two, but three of America's most iconic national parks. Explore the majestic Grand Canyon, hike the stunning trails of Zion, and witness the awe-inspiring landscapes of Bryce Canyon. All just a stone's throw away from Kanab. But Kanab is more than just a gateway. Locals call it the Little Hollywood. It's a charming town with a vibrant community. So whether you're an outdoor enthusiast, a nature lover, or a curious traveler, Kanab welcomes you to make unforgettable memories in the heart of the parks. Plan your journey to Kanab today at visitkanabutah.com. Your gateway to endless adventures starts here. Waiting to buy a home? The Churchill Mortgage Team says now is a great time to buy. Waiting could be a costly mistake because when rates drop, new home buyers will flood the market, driving up home prices. Go to churchillmortgage.com for your free analysis and see how home values can outpace rates to help you build wealth over time faster. This is a paid advertisement. NMLS ID 1591, NMLS Consumer Access.org, Equal Housing Lender, 1749 Mallory Lane, Suite 100, Brentwood, Tennessee, 37027. Welcome to Pretty Lies and Alibis. Join us as we seek the truth and travel the long road to justice. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Pretty Lies and Alibis. I'm Gigi Fruit Loop. What you know? Did you know that at first Superman was not supposed to fly? Really? Yeah. It was like he was just supposed to leap because, you know, the leap from one building leap bounds whatever uh so i thought that was interesting he wasn't supposed to fly at first hmm. i wonder there what you. wonder what made them think he should fly <laughs> could have been the cape i don't know yes it <laughs> could have been uh can i just say that sherlock again has brought another cat to my bed so i've ordered some of our listeners <clears throat> i saw that have told me to get one of those doggy doors where you put a tag on your dog and it's like I, I'm paranoid it's gonna crush an animal but I'm gonna tell you strange cats in my bed in the early morning hours I'm doing something dude cannot deal with this I've had stern talks with Sherlock but he's a hit with the ladies apparently yeah all right we want to give a shout out to our sponsor two cool t-shirt quilts you can go to two cool t-shirt quilts.com slash pretty lies and alibis check out what she can do for you don't forget tomorrow night we've got our live and uh, is it 7.30? 7. 7. Okay, so 7 o'clock tomorrow night, you will have a chance to win a t-shirt pillow like the ones you can see behind me if you're looking on YouTube. And uh, so the signups, when are they coming down today, I guess? They're there. Okay, uh, how long do they have to still sign up? Till Friday. Today. Today's Friday. Hey, it is. <laughs> today. Well, yeah, so yeah, this evening it would cut off. It would stop this evening. Okay, so you have a few more hours to go vote for your team yep. and enter your chance to win uh, based on who wins tomorrow night. Really excited. We're going to have a lot of fun. Yep. And uh, so, yep, don't forget, set your, set your timer, 7 o'clock tomorrow, join us live. All right, so Dr. Husel's trial is running a little bit behind schedule. They were supposed to have seen, had 11 witnesses up so far, and uh, they're at four. Yesterday was mainly pharmacists that testified. Not a whole lot uh, new. They all kind of echoed each other. So there's not much to update on that. And as of five minutes ago, the closings in Curtis Reeves are still going on. We expect the jury to get that case any minute now. We are going to be on verdict watch very soon. If a verdict comes down today, we're going to put out a YouTube short on that because it's not going to be enough for a whole episode. And we'll talk about the verdict on a, a later episode. But we're thinking maybe we have a verdict today it's friday these juries want to be done and there's no limit on how long they can deliberate so i think they want to put this baby to bed so we decided today to just pull some different news things things we haven't covered uh to to bring to y'all so we're gonna start with barry morphew 
Um, we, if you're new to us, we just finished up the whole arrest affidavit. So you can go catch up on that. And uh, we still have a lot to catch up on this case. But for mm -hmm. now, Barry had a five hour long hearing on Thursday and defense attorneys asked the judge to dismiss the case saying that prosecutors have mismanaged the case and they've missed deadlines that were set by the judge, including witness lists that were due this month. So only one member of the prosecution team attended yesterday's hearing and they were 30 minutes late arriving to court, which is not good. Mm -hmm. I mean, 30 minutes is, um, you know, you're wasting a lot of people's time. So sounds like prosecution needs to get their ducks in a row. Yeah. The judge did not rule on the motion to dismiss, saying that there are pending motions that need to be ruled on first. And um, kind of switching gears to trial, Fremont County plans to send out a thousand jury summons in the next few weeks, and jury expected jury selection is expected to last several days. His trial's coming up April 28th, so we're getting there. Just uh, you know, a little little over two months away will not be televised i'm super bummed but we're gonna oh, follow right. the tour in the courtroom so we can follow this one close did we ever figure out why it's just the judge like letitia's i don't know if it's a colorado thing but like letitia's i don't think is going to be streamed either i'm not sure mm -hmm. why but as, as far as i know neither one of those are going to be yeah. able to be watched live which stinks because when we're covering trials, I like to be able to sit and make notes on the actual testimony. You know what I mean? Yeah. But you can find good people that are in there that are thorough, especially on Twitter. Um, people keep it updated. So the defense has sent subpoenas to the director, deputy director, and the head of the major crimes unit for the Colorado Bureau of Investigations. Former CBI agent Josh Cahill, who we heard about a lot in that arrest affidavit he resigned in december after an, an ac accidental discharge of a gun while off duty at his house because of that accidental discharge he had a self-inflicted gunshot wound to his hand Ooh. he's also accused of lying to investigators four different times about what actually happened with that discharge and allegedly for entertainment purposes only all this stuff is allegedly he purchased a new gun light to cover the lie he told to another CBI agent when he was being interviewed about this discharge. The judge also denied a motion to include prior alleged acts of domestic violence in the trial. And so the next hearing on this is going to be March the 4th. So we're getting there, guys. I don't think this will be delayed. I think we're going in April. Yeah. Um, all right, why don't you uh, tell us what's new in the Duggar case? So here we go, Josh Duggar. Uh, on February 24th, the defense filed a motion to extend time to file objections regarding Josh's request for acquittal or a new trial. Uh, this is related to the prosecution's 30-page response from February 11th, which we went over, where they argued Josh should not have a new trial or be acquitted. Uh, the prosecution did not object to the extension and a new deadline for objections is set for March 4th and Josh is scheduled to be sentenced on April 5th. Yeah. So we know that this motion came kind of at the deadline to be able to mm -hmm. file post trial motions. I don't think it'll go anywhere. Um, now it's time for our paid advertiser of the week. This week is June's journey. Guys, I know I've said it before, but I've got to say it again. I love playing June's Journey. If you love a good mystery storyline and a good challenging hidden object game, June's Journey is for you. In June's Journey, you play as June Parker, an amateur detective investigating a series of mysteries full of twists and turns around every corner. You'll put your powers of observation to the test, sharpen your sleuthing skills, and relish the thrill of solving the case. It's a great game to sit down and just play to relax. I enjoy playing it at night to wind down before bed. What's even cooler is it's free to download and is extremely popular with over 30 million downloads. I'm sure that our Pretty Lies listeners will love this game as much as we do. So, this game is definitely a hard one to put down. There is a detective in all of us. Find your inner detective, download June's Journey, Free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. Everything that I've read, though, it seems like he is only facing 20 years in prison. And I'm not sure. I've seen, we've discussed this. I think federal 
sentencing guidelines for a first time offender, maybe five to seven years is what he'll get. I hope the judge throws the book at him. People like him will reoffend the minute they're out. Mm. And unfortunately, you know, five to seven years, I mean, him and Anna could still pop out a few kids before she hits the big menopause. So scary, scary stuff. Now let's switch over to Murdoch because uh -huh. Fitz News put out the jailhouse calls between Alec and a couple of his brothers and his son Buster. So let's start talking about that one. So in a call to his brother, John Marvin, on January 4th of this year, Alec asked him to have someone and it was a woman, put $60 on another inmate's books. Uh, and this is not supposed to happen, right? No, it's it's not. It's not allowed. Uh, Alex said he personally is having to order ibuprofen because he's exercising, and a week's supply is $15, and he can only do this weekly. So they are putting ibuprofen on this other inmate's account who doesn't get canteen. He told his brother he needs this to be done right now. That's weird. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, Select Quote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, go to SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote.com. That's SelectQuote.com. Select Quote. We shop, you save. Full details on example policies at SelectQuote.com slash commercials. With the Lucky Land Slots, you can get lucky just about anywhere. This is your captain speaking. Uh, we've got clear runway and the weather's fine, but we're just going to circle up here a while and uh, get lucky. No, no, nothing like that. It's just these cash prizes add up quick. So I suggest you sit back, keep your tray table upright, and start getting lucky. Play for free at LuckyLandslots.com. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Uh. Well, they mark it up some ibuprofen though. Fifteen bucks oh, yeah. for a week supply. No, you can get a what two hundred tablets at Walmart for like four dollars and eighty two cents. But you can if you're into pokey. Oh, that's what that's what the problem is. Follow the law. <laughs> uh, so whoever Alex is talking about, who is sending the money to him, is supposed to be keeping a tally so Alex can pay her back. Uh, Alec asks how long she will be, and John says four to five minutes. He says they have 10 to 15 minutes to get the order in. Well, they, they jumpy. You better get it in. Uh, they start talking about his defense team. Alex says he thinks they will sit and wait until they bring more charges against him. He asks if John has spoken to their other brother, Randy. And John asks if Alec knows about the law firm, and he says no. So John tells him the law firm has dissolved due to bad publicity. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, Alec asks what it's called, and John says Parker Law Firm. Alec says he hates they're having to do all that and ask if there's anything he can do to help, and John says no. John tells Alec that his old college roommate and someone who was in on the Satterfield settlement was fired. John tells Alec a difference could be made if he accepted responsibility for things and named who didn't do anything. And I didn't put the guy's name and I can't remember, but it was his old college roommate. Um, Corey yeah. Fleming? Co uh, mm, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> kind of threw this one together quickly. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Yeah. I know that was in the Satterfield stuff. Yeah. So John said everyone is implicated as of right now. And that's just the word on the street. And he says that nothing has been said in any kind of an official capacity. Alex said one of the things he said in court the other day is that his partners didn't know anything about what he was doing. And he asked John if any of that was printed. And John said no, that very little of that was said because the hearing wasn't televised or streamed or recorded. John said he doesn't know if there's any way to give some sort of an official statement that none of the law partners were in on any of the evil deeds. Uh, Alex, let him go. Let him be on uh, Dateline. 
I know. We'll get Keith Morrison up in there. Prison interview. Yeah. Battle House interview. <laughs> so Alex said he needs to sit down with them and figure out what he can do. And John says it may not matter, but he thinks all they can do, that's all they can do. And he's not sure in what manner to try and get some kind of a statement out, I guess, that everybody else is, wasn't in the know. So in another call, Alec and his brother Randy discussed the detention center and where Alex is being on lockdown a lot. And Alex said a lot of it's because of understaffing and not due to COVID. And he said, at least that's what they tell us. He said that when there's fights that all the correction officers have to go to where the fight is and they just lock everybody else down in the process. <laughs> Alex said, I've got some stories to tell when I get out of here. And Randy says he can't imagine and Alex said, no, you really can't. And I just think it's cute that he thinks he's getting out. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Randy asked Alec if he's spoken to Jim or Dick, which are his attorneys, about filing for bankruptcy. And he said it's almost like he's in it now. And he's only experiencing the bad aspect of bankruptcy and not any of the good aspects of being bankrupt. Alex said they've discussed it, but there are some timing issues and they have written a memo about it, but there's something that's supposed to give you sort of a quick turnaround at, in being able to declare bankruptcy. But Alex said he knows that the judge would just deny it. And he talks about how cases like his usually have a bond and it may be a high amount, but it's there and you can file. Um, there's a certain thing you can file. Totally can't say it. Not even going to attempt it. I hey, think it's Habeas Corpus. corpus. Since the charges aren't capital, but they're civil. And Alex is supposed to be expedited. And the attorney general had 10 days to respond to that. But Alec also said he's not getting his hopes up about anything because normal rules do not apply to him. So the last call that we hear is with Buster. This kind of cracked me up a little bit. Um, so Alec was asking when they got back into town. This is in regards to when we saw that picture of, of Buster in Vegas gambling with uh, Alex's brother. So Buster says they flew into Charlotte since it was cheaper and they flew on Spirit Air Airlines. I'm about to say airlines. Oh, oh. Lord, have mercy. Alex mm -hmm. asked how that went and Buster said it was better than he expected. And they both kind of laughed. And Buster said the seats don't recline because they can sit more people that way. And he says flying on spirit was just different. Now we've seen pictures of them on private jets going to football games and big bowl games and traveling. So, you know, they're having, what, yeah, this is what the common folk are. This, this is what, what us common commoners do. do. We fly budget and sometimes fly to drive to Charlotte. So we don't have to pay out the wazoo yep. to fly from Greenville or even Charleston. It's still a regional airport, you know? Yeah. So do you want to keep going? Sure. Uh, so Alec asked if he got to gamble any, and Buster tells him he did. And the next day, that's the photo of him and John Robert at the table in Vegas. It got out to the press saying he was misusing funds, and Alec was surprised. Uh, he asked how they recognized him, and Buster said because he's a national figure. Uh, he says, I guess you're going to have to wear a hat when you go places. <sighs> Um, he asked Buster if he has that thing set up and Buster said yes, and he prepaid $50. So it should be good on his end. Sounds like they're talking about prepaid for phone calls or something. Um, he tells Buster he won't keep him, but to stay on John Robert about that stuff from Mark Ball and something about funds being put on something. And Buster said it would be done in the morning and Alex says, so Mark's going to do it. Buster says, yes, they're writing a check in the morning and we'll apply at Palmetto State to apply it. Alex says, how can they fuss when everything is being applied to the bank? And Alex asks how much they put on it. And Buster says a couple of tens of thousands. He said he is selling off equipment. Buster asked about another bond hearing in the morning. And Alex said he doesn't know if he's going to if he's going to have a hearing or if the judge would just rule based on documentation. And then they talk a little about football and baseball and that's it. Yeah. So it was interesting to hear. Um, I have to say he didn't sound like he was depressed or crazy upset about where he's at. Uh, maybe he's accepted that at the same time. He's still talking about when he gets out of here. So 
Um, yeah. Clearly you've got those blinders on that, you know, I guess you have to hold on to hope in situations like this, but man, he's such a villain. You know, I mean, these crimes, we don't know of any violent crimes yet. We still haven't heard about the murder investigations that are going on, but man, what he's done to people. I have no sympathy for this guy. Yeah. He's taking money from families. They're grieving that need the help and flying on their private jets when they can afford it. So whatever, we still have a lot to catch up on this case. We've had several people wanting us to do what a live on Murdoch, just talk yeah. about things. So we're going to start thinking about that maybe for next month, but this is kind of all we have for today. We just wanted to update on some of these cases we're following, keeping an eye on the Curtis Reeves trial. Um, as soon as that verdict comes across, we'll put it on social media and do a quick YouTube short. And uh, we will pick back up with Dr. Husel next week. And don't forget, tomorrow night, 7, join us for the live. We'll put the link out tomorrow. Hope you guys have a great rest of your Friday, and you guys be good. My brother-in-law died suddenly, and now my sister and her kids have to sell their home. That's why I told my husband we could not put off getting life insurance any longer. An agent offered us a 10-year, $500,000 policy for nearly $50 a month. Then we called SelectQuote. SelectQuote found us identical coverage for only $19 a month, a savings of $369 a year. Whether you need a $500,000 policy or a $5 million policy, SelectQuote could save you more than 50% on term life insurance. For your free quote, go to SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote.com. That's SelectQuote.com. SelectQuote. We shop. You save. Full details on example policies at SelectQuote.com slash commercials. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered Jumbacasino.com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh, baby, mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba Life is for everybody. So go to ChumbaCasino.com and play over 100 casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Ch -ch -chumba. ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. Voidware prohibited by law. 18 plus terms and conditions apply. See website for details.